Hey guys, my name is David. Welcome to a review of WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe from DigiArty. So DigiArty actually approached me asking for me to do a review of their WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. And to do this, I decided to take two video clips, one at 4K resolution and one at 1080p, both at 60 FPS. And I decided to convert the one at 4K down to 1080 and the one at 1080 up to 4K and then compare them and see how they look compared to the original. When opening the application for the first time, I noticed that the whole layout was very clean and it looked very professional. I have never even heard of this uh, program before. So I was a little apprehensive to try it out, but when I first opened it, it gave me a good impression just by looking at the layout of it. Now looking at it, we can see that there is an option for hardware encoding. Now, uh, I'm running on an NVIDIA Intel-based machine, so I'm assuming that if you're running AMD uh, cards and processors, that those options will come up to you. Um, if you do not have a graphics card, I think it'll just let you use your processor. Now to do these tests. I did each test twice, one with the hardware encoding enabled and one without it. And we'll look at the results in a minute. So let's look at the amount of time it took to do the encoding. When converting from 4K to 1080p, there appeared to be no difference in time with or without the hardware encoding, which is not really surprising because I was using a very short clip and down conversion is usually a lot easier on a CPU or GPU than up conversion. When up converting from 1080p to 4K, we saw something kind of interesting. It appears that it was actually shorter without using the GPU. Now, that's only a difference of 5 seconds, which is pretty minimal. And the reason behind this, I think, is because the processor I'm using is so good compared to the GPU that for this type, for this small task, the amount of time that it would take to use either is negligible. It's very the margin is very small. So it's not that surprising that, that we saw a slight difference and that the difference was so small. Okay, now we're going to look at the actual video quality of the conversions. When down converting from 4K to 1080, right off the bat we noticed that things were very blurry. And without even having a side-by-side -side comparison of how it would look in something like Premiere, just physically downscaling it, it was incredibly blurry and I was actually surprised as to how noticeable it was. There was a different story though for the up conversion. Up converting 1080p to 4K the video quality actually looked very crisp and clean and looked almost identical to simply scaling it up in Adobe Premiere. So all in all is this program worth your time or your money? Well the program it costs $35 the deluxe edition uh, and I want to thank WinX for providing a code for me so I could review this product. But I really need to think about is this program really worth your money? Because you can do all the same things in a program, for example, like Handbrake, or you could probably get a uh, easy version of Adobe uh, Media Encoder, or if you already have your video editing software like Premiere, Final Cut, or Vegas, you could probably do the exact same things in those programs. So, are you getting any actual benefits out of this program? Well, something I do like about it is that right on the front of the program, it says you can use hardware encoding. And in programs like uh, After Effects or uh, Premiere or Vegas or Final Cut, things like that, it can be very difficult to figure out how to actually use your beefy 1080 uh, GTX or your Titan or whatever crazy uh, graphics card you have. So I like that it shows that it's usable right there in front of it. But overall, I don't think that this program is worth the $35. However, if you want to you know, support, support startup uh, software developers, I guess this is a great way to do that. Uh, you're certainly not going to get robbed, but I th and because the program works, um, I just think there are more practical ways and easier ways to do the simple tasks that most people would do with a program like this. Oh, 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 oh,